it's Simplicity, and welcome back to a new Accountant Household for the month of, what is it now, July 2019. So we are still playing with my leprosy. Um, we are in Bridgeport because I am on the late night generation. So we are at the off ramp, uh, four bedrooms, one bathroom or something like that, uh, penthouse. Um, it's not going to be the forever home. But it is where we are currently staying just because they wanted to live in a penthouse and it was honestly the only one I could find. So that is what we're, where we're currently living. Um, the, it's not really like a big update or anything. I don't believe I've actually done an update since I've been playing with just Sawyer. Um, Sawyer has been living in Bridgeport since she was a teenager actually. Um, I had her move out on her own to Bridgeport. And, yeah, so I do want to go ahead and give you guys a little apartment tour. Um, hopefully, in the next update, we'll be in a new house because I do have an idea for one that I want to stay at. But uh, we'll see. So this is the little apartment kind of here. So this is the front doorway here where you guys see the elevator. Um, so we have, like, a little study area room back here with all of, like, Sawyer's musical instruments. We have the kitchen, living room, and dining room all kind of combined together. I love the kitchen. It just, I don't know, I love the size of it. So, that's it here. We've got some little things over here for Charisma and Logic. You'll see who those are for. And then we've got a bathroom over here. We have Sawyer and Bronson's bedroom. We've got Bronson's drums. Two empty rooms. And then we have another bathroom. Now, the reason that these rooms are empty is just because they are supposed to be, like, bedrooms. But I don't have enough Sims, so currently they're not bedrooms. I am going to go ahead and introduce you guys to Bronson. First, he is actually an EA Sim who came in the town and just kind of changed him up a bit. So this is Bronson Littler. He is a Gemini. He ages up in 20 days. He likes indie, hot dogs, and black. He's athletic, heavy sleeper, schmoozer, charismatic, and lucky. Um, he is a lieutenant in the law enforcement career. Um, his skills, he's level 9 logic, level 4 charisma, level 5 cooking, level 6 fishing, level 1 piano, level 10 logic, uh, level 1 painting, um, level 5 drums, level 1 Kama Sintra, and level 1 collecting. Uh, he's got 43,000 lifetime reward points, and his lifetime wish is to be the international super spy. So this is his family tree here. His parents are Ruben and Renee Littler, and then he does have some siblings. His half-sibling is Tiara Angelista, and then he's got a sister named Deidre, and then um, Tiara actually has a uh, daughter as well. So that's just, that's a little bit of the family tree. I don't actually know the backstory of the Littlers, which I should probably look into, but this is currently our family tree. Um, it's a little bit messed up. As you guys can see, it has Aspen listed as an elder. She's not. Um, it's just a little bit of a glitch with the Traveler mod, I believe. So I will change that back when I go and visit uh, Twinbook. Because I am planning on actually having them go back to Twinbook. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. But, okay, so over here we have Miss Sawyer who is eating a cookie for breakfast because why the heck not? Um, there we go. There's Sawyer. Okay, so Sawyer is an Aquarius. She likes pop, mac and cheese, and red. Um, she actually ages up today or tomorrow. Uh, she's stellar quality, dramatic, clumsy, virtuoso, and easily impressed. Um, her relationship, she's doing pretty good. Her best friend is Caroline, Caroline Langley, which was created by uh, Sam, who I will link down below. Uh, she is currently a TV actress in the film career. Uh, she's mastered the charisma skill for cooking, one guitar, one handiness. Uh, level 5 piano, level 1 painting, level 3 mixology, and level 1 Kama Sintra. She's got a bunch of these, so she's got like piano for profit, celebrity body. She has 37 lifetime reward points, and she's got the long distance friend and fast learner. And then her lifetime wish is the 
actress one. I don't actually know, like, the name of it, but that's what hers is. That's all. I just paid the bills really quick. But, yeah, so, um, Soya is actually pregnant. Um, they did just recently get married, and she got knocked up on the honeymoon, which I kind of, I don't know. I think that's kind of a fun story. Um, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to actually keep, like, I am going to keep playing with this family. I'm excited. But I don't know if I'm going to just keep using the traveler mod. I'm not sure how I want to do that. Um, Jude actually moved himself to Bridgeport, which I didn't know was actually a part of the traveler mod. I don't know if it is or mine's just kind of glitched out. I'm not sure. And I am actually getting Sawyer to work out a little bit. Um, I know she's pregnant and her athletic wear doesn't work. But I want to get that um, opportunity done. Because that is like one of her opportunities is to like work out for four hours. And she only has like two hours left or something like that. So I figured I'd get it done. And then I just have Bronson going upstairs to get the mail. And then he has to head off to work anyway. So it kind of worked out nicely. But, yeah, Sawyer is off on maternity leave. She was off for the little, like, wedding sort of thing. I will have screenshots at the end. Um, the wedding was actually kind of sad. Nobody showed up. I threw, like, a party and everything and invited family. And I had Stella and Everest in town. But they ended up, like, leaving the day of the wedding, which I didn't make any sense to me because only, they only showed up, like, the day before the wedding. And I just, I don't know. It's just, it's really weird. But, um, I am going to try and get back here to show you guys all the relationships. It is being a little bit laggy right now, and I'm not sure why. Normally it runs pretty smooth, so I'm not too sure. But yeah, so see, there's Jude. He, uh, moved himself to the town. Um, they don't have all too good of a relationship, though. She's really not close with any of her siblings but Stella. Which, I wanted her to be close with Aspen, but it just, it's not working out. Um. Oh, and then her boss hates her. Uh, her boss is Matthew Hamming. There is a little bit of a story to that, which I will actually go ahead and tell you. The maid wants an autograph. Um, no thank you. So, Sawyer's best friend, Caroline was seeing Matthew, they had a kid together and everything. I do plan on actually going over there so that you guys can, like, see them. Because I love Caroline. I think she's such a cute sim. But, uh, so anyways, they were, like, seeing each other, and I guess she found out that Matthew was actually, like, seeing somebody else at the same time, which is a very similar story for Sawyer and Bronson. Um, I have those screenshots at the end as well. Because Sawyer actually found out that Bronson had, like, another flirt whenever they were in high school. And she didn't find out till after they moved in together. And it was still showing as, like, a romantic interest sort of thing. Okay, there we go. Okay. So I don't have to do that anymore because we did just get some celebrity points, which is nice. I am going to let her go and take a shower and get herself kind of in a better mood. But, yeah, so Sawyer actually went through that whenever she was first, like, a young adult. Finding out that Bronson had, like, another girl. Um, he actually did go and end things with the other girl. And, uh, Sawyer decided that she didn't want to stay with Bronson. So, they are still together and thriving. They're married. They're expecting their first child. And it's just, it's... Honestly, this has been probably the most dramatic current household I've had in a bit. Um, I do want to go and visit... Okay, so see right there. This is where, um... Jude's living, and then in the apartment actually right next door is where Caroline is living. Um, I did just kind of randomly place her down in an apartment. Uh, when I placed her down, she didn't have any kids, so it was like a single, like, one-bed apartment sort of thing. So I'm probably going to have to go in and add in a crib for her, which I have yet to actually do for this household either. Um, as you guys can see, she is kind of glitching out with her maternity wear, so I probably should go in and change that up. Um, uh, and Ross is what I'm looking for. There we go. Stylist. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do this off camera, and then I'll hop back in. Okay, so we're back. I just threw her into some nice, comfy mom jeans. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and visit Miss Caroline and her daughter. 
Um, Celia actually hasn't met Caroline's daughter quite yet, so this will be the first time meeting, and I'm actually kind of, like, excited. Um, I do feel like Caroline and Sawyer are very, I don't know what the word is, like, they're probably, like, the best you can get when it comes to friends sort of thing. Um, I feel like I heard, like, a tweet, like, a cell phone. So, I don't know if I actually did or not. I don't know. I'll take a look for that after. But we're going to go ahead and visit Caroline's. We're going to head on over there. I'll skip so that you guys can, like, see them and stuff like that. Because this is taking... Okay. So, we're back. Uh, we are now at Caroline's. So, we are going to go ahead and head on up to her apartment as long as she's still home and lets us in. Because then we can tell Carolyn we're actually pregnant. Um, I actually don't know what Sawyer's having. I haven't done, like, the little hospital overload thing or anything like that. I haven't gotten around to it. But uh, I do think that could be kind of exciting. But at the same time, I kind of want to leave it as a surprise. Um, I have a bunch of names in mind. I have, like, a list of names on my phone for my current household. Compared to, like, my hungry baby, I have, like, two separate lists. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and head on up. Oh, so I actually placed Caroline in Sawyer's old apartment. This is where Sawyer was living when she was a teenager. Um, this cute little bedroom apartment here was actually Sawyer's, and it's honestly the exact same way that it was. Um, I am going to actually delete this piano so that we can place down a crib for the baby. But yeah, so this was actually Sawyer's apartment. So if you guys were wondering what Sawyer's place looked like when she first moved in, here you go. This was her very first apartment in Bridgeport. And actually, her and Bronson were living here until I went ahead and moved them into the penthouse. So it's kind of like a... I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. But I am going to just go ahead and place down the crib. There we go. But yeah, this apartment's definitely not going to be big enough for the two of them. But I do think it's kind of exciting that Caroline does have a kid. I'm um, actually going to get Sawyer to come over here and interact with... Um, I think her name is actually Kelly or Carly. I'm not actually sure what her name is. It's Kelly or Carly. It's C-A-R-I. And Bronson just finished work for the day, which is awesome. Giving us some simoleons. Okay. And I guess Caroline suddenly thinks that it's time to play the piano. <coughs> Bless me, I'm sorry. I'll try and remember to edit that out in editing, but I'll, honestly, I'm probably going to forget. <laughs> Knowing me, I'll probably forget. But I'll try. But yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and interact with Caroline's daughter. And, um... I'm kind of excited to see what she looks like. I'm hoping she looks more like mom, although Matthew Hamming isn't a bad looking sim either. So, I don't know. I do just, I don't know. I like them. But yeah, so this is uh, Carly or Kelly. And she actually has the last name Langley, so she didn't take Matthew's last name, which is probably for the best. But yeah, so we're just going to kind of see if we can build up a little bit of a relationship with her. I do feel like Carolyn would be kind of like the godmom kind of scenario of Sawyer's kids, and it'd be the same for like Sawyer being Caroline's, Caroline's um, children's godmom as well. Because they are actually like really good friends. They they like hit it off instantly, and it was it was awesome. But okay, so I am gonna get her to stop playing the piano so that you guys can kind of see her. Um, we are going to come over here and actually get her to feel her tummy. That'll be like her way of like announcing she's pregnant sort of thing and being like, hey, um, I have something to show you and like getting her to like, yeah, I don't know. Probably like a really cliche way. But then this way I'm hoping I can zoom in and you guys can actually see Caroline because she's such a cute sim. Honestly, like, I'm kind of obsessed with her, and I love having her and Sawyer as best friends. Okay. Well, you're going to make it obvious if you keep touching your stomach. Alright. 
So I am going to go ahead and zoom on in here so that you guys can kind of see her. Um, this isn't what she was initially wearing, but I thought it was kind of cute. But you can kind of see her from like a weird side profile. I do want to get a picture. So that's kind of why I'm doing it from like a really weird angle. But yeah, this was, this is her best friend. Um, as a teen, she was best friends with, is it Lil Bling? Is that his name? Um, but they actually, like, they're still friends, but they're not as close as they were. So, I just, I don't know. Oh, she's hungry. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of hang out, wait and see. Um... Okay, sorry, I got, like, distracted by a message. Why did it just change to old friend? Do they talk every day? That's really weird. I don't know, something weird about that. But I do think that wherever Sawyer lives... Oh, I missed the opportunity for the picture. Oh, man. Oh, well. So, Caroline actually does know about her pregnancy now. But, um... I do feel like wherever Sawyer moves to... I feel like Carolyn would, or Caroline would come along. Like, I feel like they're that kind of, like, friendship where they're, like, inseparable. So I don't know why it's still up to, like, down to old friends. Because they honestly, they do everything together. I don't take a whole lot of screenshots of the two of them, but I am going to let Sawyer go ahead and use the bathroom. Bronson's at home playing computer games, apparently. But by the next update, we will be having our baby. Because Sawyer is actually on, I think it's day two of her pregnancy right now. So if I had waited a day, you guys would have been seeing her give birth and everything. But I do kind of like the idea of you guys not knowing and it being just kind of like a reveal in the next update sort of thing. Um, I do need to go in and update my uh, character page on my Tumblr if you guys follow that. It's not currently all too up to date, but I can't really get like updated a whole lot because with the traveling mod like I can't go in and like save the households kind of thing so it'll be updated whenever we get back to twin book and all of that I'm hoping I have time to get pictures of everybody before some sims pass away um and I think it's kind of funny that Caroline's making mac and cheese because mac and cheese is Sawyer's favorite dish but, yeah, so I'm just going to see if I can get one more picture opportunity here of Caroline and Sawyer, just for the stomach thing. But after that, I'm probably just going to go ahead and wrap up this current household and jump into some screenshots because there's honestly, I have a lot of screenshots. It's kind of crazy how many there is. Um, but, yeah, I, I want to get this picture. I know, honey, I know you're hungry. I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, this wasn't what Caroline originally looked like. If I can find the uh, post for her, I'll link it down below. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it or not. Okay. So I actually don't think my game's going to give me the chance here to actually get this done as fast as I wanted to. But I hope you guys enjoyed this current household. If you did, you can go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you guys want to see some more videos from me, you can subscribe. And if you're already subscribed and want notifications for when I post, you can go ahead and hit that bell. I think it works. I'm not all too sure, actually. And I will see you guys all in my very next video. I'm going to go ahead and jump into some screenshots. I will have a screenshot of the little belly thing. But yeah, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys. Walking alone, the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger, step by step The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town
Drifting to places I should leave 